Hey guys, so in this week's episode of Make It With Calvin, we're talking about this, which is some pretty awesome cosplay prints that I'm helping my good buddy Jimmy Shaw's tidbits pull off for his relative who's into cosplay. So yeah, let's dive into it. So first of all, if you can't tell, this print has been broken up into pieces because originally it was too big to pull off in one piece even on the biggest machine that I have or even the biggest machine that Jimmy has and even if we did pull it off in one piece it wouldn't have been very practical. The amount of supports required would have been enormous, the risk involved would have been enormous, it just wasn't worth it. So we decided it was best to break it up into pieces. Now what I ended up having to do is to fit this onto my newest machine, the Artillery Genius, which Artillery was gracious enough to send out to me. I had to cut it up into smaller pieces, but even if I was pulling it off on my Sidewinder, it probably would have been about the same size because I wanted, would have wanted to keep everything symmetrical. So to break this up into pieces was pretty simple. I just took the whole model into Mesh Mixer and just used the fact that it automatically picks the center of the volume to do a plane cut, separate the surfaces, another plane cut, separate the surfaces, and then there's this weird handle thing that fits onto this guy, so something like that sort of. So then I just pulled that out from the model a little ways to get it to work and it got the job done. So I was going to add pinholes, normally I do that, you guys know how much I love that, but the reality was on this, doing the pinholes was going to be a gigantic nightmare. So I just decided, you know what, it's just easier to not do it. Being that there were already a bazillion triangles on here trying to add more to get the pinholes to work right, I was actually crashing my laptop with Mesh Mixer, and if you guys don't know, I have a decently powerful gaming laptop that could handle that, but Mesh Mixer itself was freaking out and was just like, I, I can't handle it. So I had to do that, it wasn't ideal, but you know what, it'll get the job done. Now as for printing these, these parts, And these parts were both done in AMZ 3D PLA that Jimmy was nice enough to give me. This guy is the only exception because he was a test print that actually turned out good. But all the parts were done in PLA just for the sake of simplicity. And they turned out quite nice. Now for Jimmy's relative who's getting these, if you're watching this, which you probably are and anybody else who's doing cosplay prints, I would highly recommend when you're done with the prints partly for the sake of strengthening it up and partly for the sake of making it easier to finish is to come along and use an epoxy on the surface. Now for what I'm going to assume is the backside here, I would highly recommend looking into applying a single coat of um, fiberglass cloth with resin to really reinforce it. And then for the front side, look into just applying a thin coat of epoxy to kind of bond everything together. Now I know some people will actually fiberglass over this, but there is some fine details in there, and I don't necessarily think you want those to get filled in, but, you know, it's all up to you. As with any commercial, well, I should say, as with any 3D printed part done on a hobby level, I wouldn't expect the strength of this to be super intense. So, let's jump on over to the time lapse, and I'll come back and wrap the video up real quick, and we'll be done.
Oh wow, I guess the uh, self-releasing surface works a little better than I thought when it gets cold. So as you guys noticed in the video, I did have one failure and that was the supports on the back of the print here. Now to be fair, in retrospect, I should have gone ahead and activated the support base layer because I was running very sparse supports for the body and only running dense supports for the top. So it did cause the failure which created the hairy print on the back, but that's easy enough to clean up. It's the back side of the print and the reality is looking at this, I don't even know if it needed the supports. So, you know, lesson learned there, but I have to say though, I've been really, really impressed with the Genius. I got it, like I said, from Artillery. It's been an amazing machine so far. It is a, I would say, improved version of its bigger cousin, the X1, of which I have the first, um, you could say, batch of it, because they've made a couple of running revisions. But I will be doing a more in-depth video on the printer in the near future. But so far, for printing PLA, things have been kicking butt. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. As for me, I need to work on cleaning off the hair on the back of this, putting them in a box, and getting them out to Jimmy's super excited cousin. Hope you enjoy these prints, and good luck finishing them.